All right. So in this video, I'm going to show you how to add games to LaunchBox on the Kinhang Drive. So as you can see, I'm in big box mode. What I'm going to do is I'm going to press escape, head down to the bottom of the menu here and press enter on switch to desktop mode. Yes, you can navigate through the folders to find the desktop mode and to open it that way, but it's much easier just to do it through big box mode. What I'm going to do is I'm going to add God of War. No, I'm not going to tell you where to get PlayStation 2 games. Excuse me. That's a you decision. It's, <laughs> you're going to have to go through all of that. Obviously, YouTube doesn't allow that stuff. So right here are all my PS2 games. And on the left are all the systems. So again, you could just click on which system. So for me, I'm going to scroll down and I'm going to click on PlayStation 2. You don't have to do it. You don't have to click on PlayStation 2, but it's much easier to do it this way. So there's two ways of importing files. You can drag and drop, or you can go up to the menu system here. You are able to add like literally thousands of files all at once, but they obviously have to be in the same system. So I'm not going to add PS2 games and PS1 games in just one drag and drop. It just doesn't work that way. So menu uh, up here, sorry, tools and import ROM files. Next, again, you can just drag and drop or do it this way. You can add an entire folder or just one file. So I'm gonna click this one right here. Open, next, it's a PS2 game, next. It's gonna be running on a PS2 emulator, yep, next. Now here's the options this gives you. Would I like to run the game from the current location? Well, no, because it's on my desktop. Would I like to move it? To the correct folder as in would you like me to move it to the ps2 roms europe folder i'm going to do that the third option up the top is would you like me to make a copy of it so it will keep the original one on the desktop and then make a copy of it and put it in the folder i'm going to click the middle one because i want to move it to the folder click next yeah before i click next tick this it's more than likely going to be ticked for you but it's going to find all the information all the metadata Next, so what would you like LaunchBox to find? Tick the boxes. I want you to find the 3D box art, the back of the box, maybe if there's a better reconstructed version, because people make them on uh, Photoshop, front of the box, the full box, the spine, etc. I've ticked all the stuff I want to find. Clear logo, that's an important one. That's when you scroll through the menu, and before you select a game, it has the logo of the game, so it's just not white uh, text. So I want that. Press next. Now for you, it's going to ask you to sign up to Emu Movies. It's going to have an option. Do you have an account with them? It is free to sign up, but the paid version allows you to download the video footage. That's the only option. So if you want the video footage, you're going to have to pay for it. There is other ways of adding video footage. But again, if you're moving thousands of files, it's going to be much easier for you to pay. I don't have a premium account at the moment. I already have most of the video footage, but I just haven't moved them over yet. Uh, next, and next again. And it's, is this the name of the file? So in the title screen, I want it to be called just God of War. I don't want it to have God of War slash Europe, you know, space Australia. This is exactly the name I want it to be right here in this section. If you want to edit it, you can just double click and type in what you want the game to be called on the menu wheel. Press finish. And as you can see, it's going to move the files for me and it's going to download all the information, all the artwork and everything I asked it to find. Again, bad the movies because I don't want it to. I already have all the movies on the hyperspin section of my drive. So if I go up here to the left and I type in God of War, there it is. It's added God of War. And it's added the logo. That's the clear logo right here on the top right. So if I press view all images, click on it. So it's got the front of the box, the back, all the information I asked it to find. And that's the clear logo. That's the thing I was telling you. Definitely tick clear logo because that's what it's going to find. And when you scroll through the menu wheel, you'll see this logo. Disc art, etc. And the front of the menu or the start screen, which I asked it to find. Press escape. And so before we go in and look at it in the menu, there's multiple ways uh, to 
record the footage yourself or sorry get the footage yourself so you can download it from youtube there's many ways to download videos from youtube i'm sure you can look that up or you can record the gameplay yourself and then add it to it so let's say i've downloaded a video from youtube or i've recorded footage from youtube what i need to do is click on god of war right click it edit and the first option here edit metadata slash media go down to videos and add video so that's the video footage that i've created myself or that you've created yourself or you've downloaded that's the way to do it without paying to get the footage so that's one way of doing it anyway so i'm going to go up here to menu and again let's reopen big box mode to show that it's now in the menu as well as the the box art and the information but for the <laughs> for the 15th time not with the footage the video footage so open up here and you'll see there it is with the clear logo and that's all the information i asked it to find brilliant what more do you want box art cd art clear logo all of that information as you can see here this is what happens when you don't find a clear logo it looks like this just white plain text which i don't want so i'll go find that myself later and add it as well as the cd art anyway thanks to everybody that usually comments my videos it's very kind of you thanks for watching it's really nice that people take time out of the day to watch my videos and to comment uh, i'll try and keep making videos on the canine drive and maybe more down the line but as always thanks for watching appreciate it